If you come outside and you see this on your knockout roses, this is a problem and I'm going to show you how to take care of it. So I was outside one day and I looked over towards my knockout roses and I saw bite marks on the leaves of the bushes. They were everywhere. They were on the leaves, they were on the roses and something told me that I probably had a bug infestation problem. When I looked closer, I noticed this. It was a Japanese beetle. These things are notorious for feeding on any kind of plant. They like rose bushes, but they will feed on any type of plant you may have in the area. It doesn't matter what type of flowers or bushes you have. I always keep one of these on hand at all times. It is from BioAdvance Dream 1 Insect Disease and Mite Control. It specifically kills the most common bugs you will find on bushes and flowers and will also cure and prevent any kind of diseases or funguses you may have on your plants. Very easy to apply. It is a hose-in version. There's no need to mix anything. You just simply hook up your hose and you have a nice measuring gauge right on the side and you can tell how much fluid you have left. The process is simple. You just shake the bottle up, hook up your hose and spray. You want to spray any type of bushes you'll have in the area, flowers included. You want to spray the front, back, sides, and under the bushes. Get all sides, making sure to get even coverage. You can be a little aggressive with this. Don't worry, you're not going to hurt anything. The good news is that these beetles will die almost within the hour. The bad news is this coverage will only last for 14 days. So after the 14 day period, you may have to spray again or at least monitor the situation. Just because you kill the existing Japanese beetles in your area, it doesn't mean more cannot come from another location, such as your neighbors across the street or even down the street. So you're going to have to monitor for any kind of bug activity for a few weeks. The other bad news, if you see Japanese beetles right now, it just means they may have laid eggs in your turf and these eggs will hatch later in the summer or early fall and they will be grubs and grubs are notorious for feeding on your grass roots. So this is something you're gonna have to monitor and if you wanna be proactive about it, depending on where you are and when you're watching this video, a preventative may be too late. But if it isn't, you can use a product from Scott's called Grub EX. This works by killing the eggs as they develop before they become grubs and cause major damage. Later in the fall, after the eggs have hatched, this is when you can apply a general granular insecticide to target those grubs that's going to come out of their eggs. Now if you watch my other videos in the past, I stress applying a granular insecticide to your lawn every two to three months. This is a way to be proactive about bugs. You don't want to wait until bugs are a huge problem. You want to be proactive, just like applying a pre-emergent to prevent weeds. You want to apply an insecticide to prevent bugs from coming on your property. By doing this every two or three months, grubs will not be a problem. Because if you're looking back at the bag, you will see that grubs is listed as one of the main target pests. I'll link one of my bug videos right here. This is where I talk about different ways to control bugs. And to get more in detail on how to prevent bugs on your property, I'll link this video right here. This is where I get more in detail on exactly how to prevent bugs. So for now, go out in your yard and look at your knockout roses. If you see Japanese beetles, they usually like to attack in clusters and feed in clusters. You need to take care of this ASAP. They're very devastating to knockout roses especially. So you want to kill them with this. This is the product to use. I've used this in the past and I continue to use this every year. And it's very, very effective on Japanese beetles. Now here is a footage I shot a week and a half later. You can see my knockout roses and my bushes are all healthy. There is zero Japanese beetles anywhere to be found. So this product works. If you go a little heavy, it's fine. It's a product that you get from a big box store. So there is a little bit of a goof proof in this. So if you go a little too heavy, it's not going to hurt anything. Just be sure to follow the directions and read the label. So I hope this video was useful to you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for future content. And thank you so much for watching. Talk to you later.